<clears throat> well, good evening. My name is Martin Hyde. I'm a parent of a kid in this uh, public school system. You know, it's funny, when I arrived here earlier, I thought I might be at the wrong place because the uh, crowd looked more like drag queen bingo than a Sarasota school board. We all know who we have to thank for that, uh, which really goes to my point tonight. I'm here to talk about equality, not faux equality for Adam and Steve, who likely don't even live here or have kids in this school system, but educational equality for the kids of Sarasota. Over 25% of third grade students in Sarasota don't read at grade level. This goes way beyond pronouns and the heart of the crisis here in Sarasota, which is killing kids' futures before they've had a chance to get going. This is not a forum for political bloodletting, but a place of business for the school board to set policy and to require its superintendent to implement it. The key question for Sarasota, after seven years of failing superintendents, including the current interim, is who you appoint next and why the others failed. Firstly, you need to look for a candidate who is not concerned with being liked by the current establishment at the landings, as they're the very people who need to be fired first. Sarasota is one of the richest counties in the state, but is now jostling for fifth place in achievement tables in a state which doesn't have particularly high standards. That is unacceptable. The board needs to hire a superintendent who doesn't put doctor before their name, as frankly, unless they can write me a prescription, I don't care if they think they're a doctor because they're not. Bowden, Asplen, and the current interim all like to be called doctor, but I prefer something else, failure. They fail our kids when they kowtow to unions and staff. Point of order. We need a superintendent who's prepared to accept that for change to happen, things have to change. And that includes many of the names on the doors here at the landings. Until no child is left behind on literacy or numeracy, all culture wars, which debate style over substance, should stop. The only thing we should judge our school system on are its results. Participation trophies don't pay rent. Academic success does. 25% failing reading is unacceptable, and frankly, anyone who thinks there are issues of what books are on the shelves might want to consider at the present time, one in four couldn't read them properly anyway. Forget the war on woke, as that's over anyway, and woke lost big time here. Um, let's face the fight the right battle, which is the one for literacy for our kids, beginning with hire a superintendent who is results-driven and not feelings-driven. You all have a nice night.